All right, Warriors v Knights. Um, look, Knights, it's all about, boys, we scraped through last week. We scraped through last week. That's not going to happen this week. You've got that out of your system now. Now we are playing for a, an elimination one, ga- one game away from a prelim. We have everything against us. We are going to the hardest road trip essentially in rugby league. Obviously, Panthers is the hardest stadium to play out, but to fly all the way over to New Zealand is notoriously tough. They haven't had a home finals in so long. So 2008. 2008. The crowd's not going to be on your side. You're not going to win any calls. Everything's against you. But what we do know is we need to trust in the fact that our roster and us playing at our best, we can beat the Warriors. We really can beat the Warriors. If I'm the Warriors, I'm saying, boys, this is so much more than rugby league right now. This is 80 minutes. This is for the, the Kiwi that's struggling, the single mum that works her ass off all week and watch rugby league at the weekend and it changes her whole weekend. The single father, the guy in the mines. This is for the, the, the Kiwi that gets happiness out of us doing something great. The whole nation has gotten on our backs. It's time to repay them this week with 80 minutes of the best we possibly can play. If You've got the, me feeling like yeah. I'm tackle AFB right now. <laughs> if the Warriors don't use that as a pump-up video <laughs> for this week's game, they're doing something wrong because I was getting spite, like tingles down my spine. <laughs> but it, is it not, though? The whole country has get, gotten behind them. It's very, very Billy Slater-esque there. Uh, Bush poet. Yeah. <laughs> but, like... The whole country has gotten behind them. Yeah. They need to repay them with, at the very least, an epic clash where they leave it all on the line. Whether it's win or lose, they need to basically, they need to walk away. The Warriors fans need to walk away the same way the Raiders fans walked away mm. on the weekend, saying, you know what? We didn't win, but I cannot for a single second say that we didn't give it everything we could. That's what the Warriors need to do. Imagine being like Adam Elliott. I think he played 75 minutes the other day, come off the field to, to no, fuck, I've got to go to New Zealand and take on AFB. <laughs> Next week. Fuck. What a nightmare on, on a, what is it, a six-day turnaround? Yeah. yeah. Uh, if the Knights can win this game, it'll be nothing short of remarkable. Double that down if Sean Johnson plays. Watching that game yesterday, well before the 80-minute full-time was up, the Knights were out on their feet. Mm. Gamble was hurt. Hastings is obviously gone. Ponga laid on there, looked like he was hurting. They were gassed. They went 90 minutes in a finals game. They take on the Warriors who have an extra day turnaround. Mm. The Knights going over to New Zealand. <clears throat> Geez, the last 20 minutes of this game is going to oh. be tough for them. Like they Knights basically want to have it won before the, the last 20 minutes. Seriously, yeah. like it will be enormous if they can win this game mm. of footy. Yeah. I used Adam Elliott as my example. Imagine if you're Phoenix crossing. <laughs> Played 90 minutes yeah. and made 60 tackles. Mate, I would literally have mobile ice baths and they'd just be staining them for the next fucking six days. <laughs> <laughs> they'd rock up to the field. Sleep the poor bastard. Mm. Rock up to the field and fucking cast. Um, now, the Warriors, is SJ going to play? Is he not going to play? If SJ plays, it's business as usual. We know what to do. If SJ doesn't play, my message to the players would be, boys, I, who cares about scoring tries on the edge, whatever? We want to be so fucking dominant through the middle mm. that we fall over the line. I want to see forwards just – I want to see the Knights out on their feet and are so dominant through defence and attack where basically we just take a hit up and fall over the line. That's how we're going to score points. So get this notion out of your head that Tomato Martin is going to you know, throw these long cutout, cutout balls, whatever. He may do it. It may come. That moment may come. But I would be so forward heavy and so aggressive through the middle that – Basically, the Knights just get blown off the park because, A, we know they're going to fatigue later in the, the game. B, they've just gone through. I mean, the forwards for the Raiders absolutely bash the Knights. So even if, even if SJ doesn't play, there is a path to victory, victory for the Warriors. There really is. From the Knights' perspective, it's basically, you know, we already spoke about the short turnaround, but where is our point of difference? It is Kalen Ponga. Guys, we just need forwards. I need you to lay a platform. Boys, halves, all I need you to do is give us space for Kalen Ponga because their edge defence will show opportunity. Kalen Ponga is the best in the comp, maybe on equal par with Reese Walsh, maybe better at creating space for outside backs. Just lay a platform for him. I think if SJ isn't playing, I think it'd be really interesting to see what the Warriors do. I personally thought, you know, Dylan Walker, he can obviously play in the halves, but I thought they lost a lot with him not coming off the bench. 
You look at their reserve grade side, Volkman's had nine try assists in the last four weeks. Mm. He had four try assists last week, absolutely decimated the Canberra Raiders. Four tries, uh, four try assists, scored one himself. He was everywhere. I would seriously consider playing him, if for nothing else, just to get Dylan Walker back around around the middle. Yeah. It has to be Volkman, doesn't it? It has to be Volk. I, I didn't think Dylan did the best job last week. Um, and they did miss him through the middle. And I would just be basically telling Tomato Martin and, and Volk, like, high percentage plays, just do your defence. Yep. I don't want to see – you don't need to kick on third with grubber tackles or whatever. I want early kicks, back of the field, get the, the Knights forwards turned around because these guys will gas. It, it will be phys- almost physically impossible for them to play 90 minutes and come out and play another 80-minute absolute grind fest. Bang on, Kempi. You're just saying, boys, they're going to run out of steam the night. We need as much ball in play as mm-hmm. we can get. Complete high, as you said, kick early. You're playing into the Knights' hands if, this sounds silly, but you're turning over, you know, you're giving away penalties, you yeah. give him a chance to get a breather and get their Kicking legs the ball back. out. Keep it in play, keep it quick, play through the middle. As I said, don't give them any stoppages. Yeah. If they have to deal with another gritty through the middle performance of Knights, they just physically won't be able to do it. And, and this ball play in between, depending on what they do with Walker, but Walker, Fanil Blake, Toru Harris... Wade Egan in around the ruck, they can create enough through all these blows and these short interchange of passing. Mate, Adam Fanula Blake's having a field day scoring tries this season. They've got it in them like, (sighs) completed 80 plus percent, you win this game, I reckon. Yeah, I agree. I'd I'd be, if the Knights can go down there and beat a Warriors side that complete over 80 percent, it'll be one of the greatest victories we've Mm. seen. Like physically, to back up from what they just went through, it would be nothing short of phenomenal. Nothing short of phenomenal.